Welcome back to The Code Circus. Today we are going to look at how to bring some things into our 3D environment and uh, some different ways of sending messages in our 3D environment with the eventual goal to go ahead and use some of our conditionals in order to do some testing and grabbing and things like that. So let's dive right in. Here's Vizard, and in here I've added in a couple um, extra commands that we didn't have before. The first one is import viz connect, and then we have from tools import grabber. So the grabber is going to allow us to, to actually grab things and pick things up, which will be kind of fun. But instead of doing viz.go, we have to do vizconnect.go this time because we want to use the ability of the grabber. Now, if you have the Oculus Quest or if you have some other device that you're using, uh, you're already using vizconnect. If you don't, you've been using viz.go. We're going to reconfigure that a little bit in order to give us access to the, the hand, the virtual hand on the screen and the grabber. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Tools and click on Viz Connect. It says you're creating a new configuration file. And then we would save our configuration file somewhere. I already have one saved, so I'm going to just put a 2 after mine just so I don't end up erasing what I have already done. And it gives you this um, 3D environment that we can kind of look around in. It's kind of cool. Experiment. So what we want to do is go and select some common presets from configurations. But we're not going to choose Oculus Quest. This time we're going to choose desktop walking with one hand using keyboard and mouse. Apply that preset. Yes. And now if we go and look at our 3D environment, we now have a hand, okay? Now what we also want to add is a grabber. That's the ability to grab onto things. So let me go back to my inspector. So now um, we need to go in and Go back to the start page, which is this button down here. And then here it says go directly to the advanced configuration menu. So we're going to go to that. And you'll see now we have um, a head tracker, a virtual hand tracker. That's all listed here. We want to go to tools. We're going to add a new tool. And the first thing that comes up is the grabber. Now, here it says using physics. We do not want to use physics. Make sure you uncheck this. As soon as we put in uses physics, then we have to do um, a couple different things in, in all of our other code. So we're not going to use physics for right now. We're just going to hit apply and exit, and now we have a grabber. If you go to the mappings, we want to assign a signal to the computer to know to grab. This is basically uh, a keyboard input. So grab and hold. Right now it's set the left, left mouse button. And then this one, um, grab can also be left mouse button. Release, I think we want to do the right mouse button. And then we're going to leave this toggle grab off for now. So we're going to hit apply and exit. So now we have set up our virtual grabber. And we go into our world here. To move around, we can use the arrow keys. So I'm just using the arrow keys to move around. I can use the mouse to look around. If I use two fingers on the mouse, it moves that hand forwards and backwards. So in case you do that by accident, I did that a couple times by accident. Left mouse click, whoops. Left mouse click will activate the grabber for real. We also have access to W, A, D, and S. 
as well as z, which brings us down, and x, which brings us up. So those are, those are handy if you're used to those kinds of controls to fly around the screen. And right through the wall, and we'll come back. Okay. So that's how to control in your 3D world using your hand and all that. So I'm going to hit escape just so I can get out of that. So now I have my wizard con config file saved. If I want to ever want to get back into the wizard config file, I can just double click on that word wizconfig and it'll take me right back into the wizard config file. And I can see that I still have everything I had before. escape get me out of that by the way when you hit escape it actually closes all those windows so if you accidentally hit escape before you had everything configured you do need to go and click on this viz config file in order to open it back up okay so now I have my config file all set up and I have my gallery scene and I added in a new thing here we did my message before but this time it's going to be my gallery and I'm changing where the message shows up. So I'm setting the text for the message, setting a text object, and I'm adding the text. It's going to be my message, but this time I'm going to use something called viz.screen, which instead of being um, in the 3D environment, pardon me, it'll be on the wizard screen itself. Um, I have some other things that I've commented out we're going to come back to in a minute, but let's just go ahead and run this to see what I have. So this is my gallery scene. I'm going to send this all to you in your um, canvas assignment. And in here, we have this gallery. You notice I put a green light on the floor so we know where we're starting, and we can kind of fly around and take a look at things. But we're going to add some things to this gallery. So first, to do that, we have to go look for some things. And I'm going to ask you to look for things in the uh, Tinkercad and or in Sketchfab. So let's first look at Sketchfab. And I want to go and just look for something fun to work with. I want to make sure it's downloadable. I want to make sure that it's free, so I'm going to just uncheck those bottom two and now I can look for some kind of art thing that I would put in a museum so let's go and look for I'm just gonna look for art and we can see we can get some artistic things um, some weird artistic things <laughs> uh, okay sure let's look at this one nice 3d model here I'm gonna download the 3d model can make sure I'm clicking on convert to G L T F I'm gonna save that into my cloud circus and I'm gonna save it into my resources folder I've created there it saves the zip folder And now I want to go and go to my resources. And you see I have some other things that I've saved here. And it's in a zip folder down here. I'm going to extract all this. And now I've extracted. This is the file that I want, scene.gltf. That's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go into my inspector. That's our 3D world. I'm going to open up my scene, which is the gallery scene. This is the one I'm going to send to all of you, gallery scene. Now you'll notice, first, it gives me this like blown up, far away view. Uh, I've put in this landmark for you of the light. If you double click on the light, it's going to take you a little bit closer and we could just pull ourselves in now to zoom into that light and get you into a fairly decent spot in the room. 
Now we're going to go to File, Add. And I want to add in Oops, wrong spot. File, add. I went to the zip folder. I'm going to add in that thing I just created. That's the zip file. Oh, there should be a folder. Oh, here it is. Here's the folder. Okay, now it shows up on the screen, but we, yeah, where it shows up is really in question. So the, to figure it out, what we need to do is click on the root node twice and it kind of gives us an idea of where it is. It kind of looks like it's, oh, it's inside like a post or something. So we're going to want to move this and if we have to scale it, then we should scale it too, but let's move it. Oh, it looks like this one did not import correctly. So it must be something wrong with that particular file. All right, so we're going to try a different one. And sometimes that happens, you know, maybe there's some bad data in the Sketchfab file. So I'm going to try a different one, one that I know works well. This is a water buffalo. There we go. So again, I'm going to zoom in and we we'll zoom out a little bit. There it is. Can you see the water buffalo? Let me kind of move him further away. There he is. He's kind of in the floor. So we have to move him up. So the goal here is to position our little creature here in a way that he's up on this podium. There he is. zooming in and out with my fingers on the mouse and then just using these controls to to bring him into a display box and if it's big you could always scale it down I'm gonna actually scale him up a little bit bigger and put him into the display box so that's the first step So now we have him in our little display box the next step is to make sure we name it. So I have all these things here in the list. I want to make sure I find my character, which is right here. And right now it's it's named scene.gltf. We want to make sure that it's named. Uh, we want to go down to the root. So we're going to name this um, art one okay now we have to remember that name because we're going to want to add this into our project inside of wizard so let's switch back over to wizard and in here i've already added some comments The first line that we're going to put in is art1, and I use snake case for this one, and then the same name that you have in Wizard for your first art piece. And basically we're saying to the program that inside of our world there's this thing called um, art1. Oh, so I made a little mistake. I named the scene art one, which is fine, but we also have to go down here where the actual file name is Mia, blah, 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 water buffalo. Um, it's down underneath the root node, and we have to name that art one. And then we also have to make sure we save this. So that way the, the information is saved, which I didn't do that either. And now when we go in and we run it, we can see that in our environment around here, there he is, our little character sitting right there. Now, when we move over to him, we really can't do anything with him yet. We really have to be able to, to add in um, our grabber tool 
and tell it that it's allowed to grab our function. So I'm going to add in a second art object, just so we have two things to grab, art2. And then we're going to add in a list of grabbable objects called art1 and art2. So the list is denoted by these two brackets here, and we just put art1, comma art2. We're going to talk a lot more about lists in another lesson, but for today, this just gets us so we can add our objects. Then we have our grabber, and we're telling the grabber that it's using the tool grabber that we named inside of our VizConnect. We could have named it anything we wanted to, but it, grabber seemed to make sense. And then we have grabber.setItems. So we're telling the grabber what are the things it can grab. So let me add in art2, and then we'll run the program and see what we can do about grabbing some things. So now we're going to go and run our program. I've added the art2 object in there. <clears throat> I like to do this on full screen so we can kind of see better. Okay, so now we have our environment. I have my hand. I'm going to turn around and you can see I've added this kind of cool rock. Whoops. There we go. Oh, where'd it go? I lost it. Let me go back and find it. I have to restart it. Okay, so now I got control again. And I'm going to walk forward to this rock here. Use my Z control to get a little bit lower. And now you see it gets this green highlight around it. When I click with my mouse, I can pick it up, and now I can walk around with it and place it wherever I would like. I let go, and now it's just sitting over there on the step. I can go over here, and I can grab the other object, same way. Grab it, and can walk around, and maybe I want to put it over here. And now you can see you can place the objects wherever you want in a 3D environment. And uh, that is the basics of it. Remember that when you go to add more objects, the things that you have to add is you have to build it inside of the Wizard Inspector. You're going to have to add a Art 3, so to speak. For that, you're going to have to add the Art 3 to the list. So I would just do Art 3. equals and then this exact same code and then I would call it art3 and then down here you're gonna have to add art3 and once you do that you'll be able to use the grabber object and you can add as many items to your world as you would like as long as you add them to the inspector and make sure you name them so let's go over that again. Remember, when you're naming them an inspector, you have to name them right here um, where uh, it, it has that little gear and it's like the second one down and I did the same thing over here. Usually there's a file name there that is listed um, that, that kind of tells you what file you had downloaded. And if you look for that, you'll be able to see where you should be naming it. And if it doesn't work, just name it a different spot and try to run it that way. So that is all for today. I will see you next time.